the late night talk show host talking about gun control. We have Steve Ducey that's in Las Vegas live anchoring the show from out there. We also want to bring in Ben Shapiro. He's from the DailyWire.com, a syndicated columnist and host of the Ben Shapiro Show to talk about this very issue with the late night host. Steve, you have a question for Ben? Uh, absolutely. Ben, I got, I got a question for you. You know, uh, many, as we just saw the uh, late night host talking about how there needs to be more gun control. But when you look at uh, what they found in the car of this guy, that ammonium nitrate, you just had the um, fuel oil to it. You've got an Oklahoma City bomb there as well. What gun control law would have stopped that guy from doing what he did back there? I mean, even the guns that he was using, I'm not sure that there's any evidence that, that gun control would have done anything. I mean, he obtained, apparently, these weapons legally. He had gone through federal background checks. There's no evidence of significant mental illness to this point. So all this seems like is people shouting, do something, while they have no particular solutions and no expertise on guns or gun control. I mean, the suggestion that gun control is going to put an end to incidents like this, again, that, that is an evidenceless proposition based on nothing but emotional response. I was looking at Jimmy Kimmel last night, and he said, well, for those of you on television all day that tell me not to, uh, the not to talk about gun control, my First Amendment is just as important as your Second Amendment. Ben, what's your reaction to that? Well, I mean, no one is talking about stopping him from, from talking. I mean, I would, I would never try to ban Jimmy Kimmel from talking on television. He should stop trying to ban me from owning a firearm. And, and again, and nothing that the, that the late-night hosts are saying has any sort of relationship to reality. If they want to call for an outright gun ban, if they want to call for all guns in the United States to be removed, then we can at least get an honest assessment of what it is they believe. But when they say things like a little bit of common sense gun control would stop all of this, that's, that's just a chimera. It's not true. They're, they're making things up because this is all about the moral disapproval of people who own guns. And that, that's what drips from a lot of these folks is this idea that if you oppose them on policy, it's because you don't care enough about what happened in Las Vegas. And that really is, that, that's quite disgusting. I mean, the idea that if we disagree on politics, it's because my heart isn't big enough, but your heart is just big enough so you understand Jimmy Kimmel or Stephen Colbert or Seth Meyers. You you understand truly what America needs because you care so much. That's, that's pretty nasty stuff. So what is the issue here? What do we need to be talking about? Well, I mean, I think we don't have enough information yet to know what sort of policy proposals would, would be on the table. This is one of the things that drives me nuts about this. Mass shootings are actually a pretty terrible way of determining policy because the sample size is so low, because it tends to be non-representative of deaths involving guns in the United States overall uh, for, for a variety of reasons. I mean, if we actually want to talk about gun violence across the United States, we'd actually have to start talking about if you're going to talk gun control, then let's talk about democratic areas in major cities, because that's where virtually all of the murder, or at least a huge percentage of the murder, is taking place in the United States. Even that, though, it would be, I think, a, a false premise, because the fact is that the number of guns in the United States has gone up as the murder rate has gone down. Per capita, there are now 1.45 guns per American in the United States. There were less than one gun per American in the, in the United States in 1993. And the murder rate has declined markedly since that time. So the idea that more guns equals more crime or more guns invariably equals more mass shooting, the evidence is really weak on this stuff. Yeah, so what does that tell you? Does that tell you that more people owning guns with murder rates going down? Is it because we feel like using a gun we can protect ourselves more owning a gun? Well, I mean, I think there's a case to be made for that. The, the truth is that correlation in these cases doesn't always equal causation. So saying more guns, less crime, it may be just as wrong as saying less guns, more mm -hmm. crime. Um, but, it, but, but by the same token, to suggest that if we just remove guns, that's going to send the crime right down, it's not true. People keep talking about things like Australia, where there was a big gun buyback. And the fact is that in Australia, they only removed one-third to one-fifth of guns. The gun crime rate was declining markedly before that, and the United States right. is not the same as Australia. Try going to Texas and telling everybody they need to hand their guns over to the federal government and see how the gun rate, right. the, the gun death rate goes up. That also, tell the people in England how safe they are uh, when they've had five attacks over the last year, uh, and they have uh, very few guns over there, as well as France. Even law enforcement and, uh, doesn't carry guns, right? As well as Spain, true. Good point, Ainsley. And finally, I didn't know, I'm not a gun guy, I don't pretend to be, but now I'm finding about these bump fire, uh, these bump fire stocks that allow a, a semi-automatic to be an automatic, and the fact is, is according to the ATF, it was actually legal to do. Would you, as a pro-gun guy, entertain the fact that we get rid of some of that conversion? Yeah, I think I would. I mean, the fact is that the machine guns have been illegal for sale since 1986 mm -hmm. in the United States. Um, devices that can convert a semi-auto to fire like an auto, I think there's pretty widespread support for getting rid of some of these devices. That said, a bump stock is very easy to, to make yourself, uh, to imitate. Uh, firing a, a semi-auto at a high rate 
uh, is not particularly difficult to train to do. So it, I think that we can do it. I just I wouldn't use it as as this sort of this panacea. I, I don't think that you can use it as a cure all. I, I, the idea that that would cure these problems. The, the vast majority of, of mass shootings have not taken place with automatic weapons or even semi-autos being fired like autos. They've been with semi-automatic rifles or mostly with handguns. Okay. Ben Shapiro, thank you for joining.